Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, your go to place this spring to get everything you need to make your home and yard look like the envy of the neighborhood. So, whether it's spring cleanup or landscaping, whether you're a landscaper or a do it yourselfer, head over to Omni 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, in southwest Suffolk County, north of the Sunrise Highway and south of the Long Island Expressway. It's also north of the Southern State Parkway. 631 756 1125, the phone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So uh, we've been advertising this stair-step decline in temperatures that's going to take us uh, down to some very cold air uh, on Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, and into Tuesday. And that process is getting underway. If you look at the satellite loop, uh, there's a, a swirl here moving across the Great Lakes. We have the signature of a strong upper air trough that will be moving through today. Very cold, unstable air aloft, even though the air on the ground today isn't particularly cold. But the unstable atmosphere is going to create some showers. Not all of you will see them. Uh, it may also create uh, some uh, isolated th uh, thunderstorms. Get a little bit of lightning and thunder in the mix. And don't be surprised, especially away from uh, the coast or even on the coast, because the air is so cold aloft that you could wind up seeing uh, a little bit of grapple, uh, which is basically a, a snowflake that hasn't completely crystallized. It's kind of a cross between snow and sleet. People will probably refer to it as hail. And in fact, would not at all be a shock if we wind up seeing some small hail out of this uh, as well. SPC uh, does not have any severe weather indicated. However, they did speak to uh, the uh, issue in the northeast. And you can see they do have a uh, risk for thunderstorms in a general area from southeastern and southern New England, uh, the middle, uh, actually from the upper Hudson Valley all the way down to the coast, all of New Jersey, eastern half of Pennsylvania, down into uh, Delaware and eastern Maryland. And they talk about this possibility today that we could see a little bit of hail or a little bit of grapple. So we're going to be paying attention uh, to the radars, and I'm going to just uh, give you a shot here. This is at uh, 9 a.m. this morning, and you can see these bands uh, that are moving eastward with huge gaps in between. Um, none of this is really producing any heavy rain from what we could see so far, but again, during the late morning and afternoon, I, I would expect that some of these bands might have a few heavier showers in them. Back to the Storm Prediction Center, and... Uh, the next area to worry about with respect to severe weather shows up actually in the long range. And this is for the south. This is going to be another one of these potential uh, regional outbreaks that could occur of severe weather. And on day four, uh, the Storm Prediction Center ha is showing risk from north central Texas uh, on up into o most of Oklahoma and into Kansas. And already on their day five, and this is for... Uh, Wednesday into Thursday, uh, a 30% or an enhanced risk of severe weather is already showing up on the long range. So whenever SPC puts something in their long range, uh, it's usually good advice to pay attention. And they even have some risk in the mid-Atlantic on their day six forecast, which is going to be for Thursday into Friday of, this, of next week for uh, Virginia. Uh, central and eastern Virginia and into uh, central and east central North Carolina. Um, again, already showing the idea that there could be a slight risk for severe weather. So again, when SPC does this in the long range, it's a pretty good idea to pay attention. So really, uh, it's all going to be about temperatures the next couple of days. So we're going to see some uh, some showers uh, running around uh, during today when it's not showering. It's just going to be cloudy. Maybe the sun tries to poke through. It's called uh, self-destructive sunshine. If the sun pokes through, creates more instability. It produces more clouds. Uh, then again, tomorrow, it'll, be a, it'll start to get windy. And we could also still see another scattered rain or even a snow shower is possible here as that colder air continues to funnel down. And the core of the cold air will be coming down Sunday night uh, into Monday as high pressure builds down from, uh, eastern, from uh, the western Great Lakes. And we're talking about temperatures that for uh, today are going to be uh, up into the upper 40s to some lower 50s. And then tomorrow will be generally in the 40s for highs. 
But by Monday morning, if you check this out in terms of the forecast low temperatures here, uh, this is uh, for um, Monday and also for Tuesday morning. Those are going to be the two coldest mornings. For both maps, we could probably use the same. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between the Monday morning lows and the Tuesday morning lows. But we're looking at lows in the upper teens and low 20s in most places. Uh, Sunday night into Monday morning and Monday night into Tuesday morning. We're also looking at lows in the upper teens and low 20s. And the daytime highs on Monday in some places are going to have a real difficult time uh, getting uh, up uh, above uh, the freezing mark. Other places are going to wind up uh, seeing temperatures uh, in the middle up to upper 30s. So the further south you go, if you're south of Philadelphia, you're going to be a little bit warmer on Monday. If you're north of New York City, you're going to be colder. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the website. Uh, I'm sorry, is the phone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So once we get into Tuesday, we're going to see a warm front that's going to approach Tuesday, after, uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Uh, a little bit of light precip with it uh, as it goes by. Uh, that cold air is going to move out quick. And then we're going to see another warm front get pitched down to our south. And you'll see the severe weather that moves across the southern states during the day on Tuesday. So here's Tuesday night's severe weather threat into Wednesday morning. Uh, and then Wednesday into Thursday. And then as we move further east, Thursday into Friday. And it looks like the next chance of any important uh, rain probably comes... Uh, later Thursday, Thursday night with a cold front going by and then it's going to turn colder again as we go through Friday and into next weekend. Pattern's pretty well locked in place here. Uh, no Joe and Joe show today. We do have one scheduled tentatively for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time, but that is subject to change. Once I know what my schedule is going to be like for tomorrow, we'll decide on, on the right time. But for now, we're going to stick with our usual time, which is at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So we hope to see you then. Enjoy your Saturday and enjoy your weekend.